Today let's talk about X-rays. So X-ray is a part of electromagnetic spectrum. Every electromagnetic radiation is transmitted in waves or particles at different wavelength and frequency. The broad range of wavelengths is known as electromagnetic spectrum. The electromagnetic spectrum or the EM spectrum is generally divided into seven regions in order of the decreasing wavelength or increasing energy and frequency. The common distinction are radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet light, x-rays and gamma rays. One of the most common and beneficial use of x-rays is for medical imaging. X-rays are also used in treating cancer and in exploring the cosmos. Before getting into the detail of X-rays, let's know about who discovered it. So X-rays were discovered in 1895 by Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen. Sorry my German folks if I pronounced it wrong. He was a professor in Germany. For this discovery, he was awarded the first Nobel Prize in Physics in the year 1901. During the World War I, X-rays were already being used for medical purposes. So how is the X-ray imaging done? Before that, let's see how is X-ray produced. X-rays for medical diagnosis and for research purposes are produced in a standard way by accelerating electrons with high voltage and allow them to collide with a metal target inside a vacuum tube. So we know there are atoms inside the metal target. The electrons in that atom orbit in specific shells orbitals. The higher the orbital, the higher the energy. When the accelerated electrons hit the metal target, they knock off electron from the atom of the metal target, due to which there is a vacancy in that orbital. If the electron of the inner shells has been knocked off, a electron from a higher shell will jump to the lower shell. As I told you before, electrons of higher shells have higher energy than the electrons of a lower shell. And an electron from a higher shell cannot enter the lower shell unless and until it has the same energy as the electron of the lower shell. So it has to give out energy in some form. And in this case, it gives out energy in the form of X-rays, which is exactly what we require. So when you get your X-ray taken, X-ray sensitive film is put on one side of your body and x-rays are shot through you because bone are dense they can absorb the x-rays the skin around your bone cannot so the shadow of the bone is produced and this helps us to determine if there's a crack in your bone because if there is a crack the x-rays will go straight through it and you will be able to see just the skin yeah that's all for today i guess so if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share the video with your friends, I make a new video every Thursday, so I'll see you next Thursday. Until next time, stay curious, stay awesome.